Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Grace. Today we are doing some meal prep in the kitchen um, for dinner tonight and then for leftover lunches this week. We are doing um, pan seared ranch chicken breasts and we are doing a loaded cheesy broccoli cauliflower bake for the vegetable. So that's what we're working on right now is the broccoli cauliflower bake. Um, I have taken a head of cauliflower and a head of broccoli chopped it up into forkable size pieces and it's in a large bowl here. I'm gonna put all of the ingredients and the direct directions in the description below for you. Um, I'm always about using things that you have in the kitchen that need used up. One of those is bacon today. Normally this recipe I would use about eight slices of uh, nice crispy cooked bacon. However, either my husband or my children ate up the baggie of bacon I had hanging out in my refrigerator. So I'm gonna improvise today and also use some bacon bits. First thing that I'm going to do, you guys, is grab a medium bowl. I actually originally had my broccoli cauliflower here in this bowl, but I need a bigger bowl. So um, I'm gonna use this bowl for mixing. I'm gonna start with eight ounces of cream cheese. I have let this sit out for a little while so it's a bit soft. We're gonna grab some sour cream. I'm gonna use about a half a cup. And I'm honestly, I'm just gonna kinda eyeball a half a cup. That's about a half a cup or so. Ah, maybe just a little bit more. Even though this has broccoli and cauliflower in it, with all of the cheese you guys we got going on and the sour cream and the heavy cream, this is not a healthy-ish recipe. However, it is still yummy, makes a delicious side dish and leftovers. Plus, it does get the broccoli and cauliflower in those picky eater kids. If you have some of them in your household, I sure do. I'm grabbing my heavy cream here. And I'm only gonna use Where'd he go? Get my uh, tablespoon here. I am making old fashioned iced oatmeal cookies. So I've been baking already in the kitchen today. I'm gonna use one tablespoon or so of heavy cream. I'm gonna get my minced garlic. And we're gonna do about two tablespoons, which is about what I got left in my jar here. Let's see if I can get her out. There we go. I usually prefer the squeeze bottles, so helps measure a little bit easier. All right, and we are gonna add in just a sprinkle of salt and pepper. And honestly, when I am doing vegetables, roasted vegetables or baked vegetables, I like to add in um, some onion and herb seasoning. It adds a little extra flavor. It's probably about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of that. I'm gonna grab my hand mixer here and we are gonna mix this together real quick. All right, we're gonna add in some Parmesan, about a fourth cup. This is a very, very cheesy vegetable casserole. And then I'm gonna grab some Italian seasoning. We're gonna just open her up here. I'm gonna grab a nice hearty pinch twice. About a full teaspoon maybe. All right, we're gonna mix this together again. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna grab that really big bowl I have here with my broccoli and cauliflower. And we are gonna kind of toss the cream cheese around the vegetables. All right, so I am going to just kind of lightly toss mix the broccoli cauliflower in the cream cheese sauce. It will melt 
in the oven. So I'm not concerned about it being thick still. You just kind of want to lightly coat all of the broccoli and cauliflower florets. We're gonna grab some pepper jack cheese. I'm using shredded cheese. About a cup of pepper jack. And we're gonna do about a cup, cup and a half of cheddar. Use mild or sharp, it doesn't really matter. Lightly toss the shredded cheese into your broccoli cauliflower. All right, let's grab our baking dish. Just fits inside this baking dish. I'm gonna grab the actual bacon pieces, sprinkle those on top, and then I'm gonna get my bacon bits. Sprinkle those on top as well. I'm gonna pop this in the oven at about 375, maybe 400 degrees. Depends how quickly you want it to cook. You want to make sure your vegetables are nice and soft. Um, and it's going to be for probably about 30 minutes or so. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. All right, we're going to finish up our meal prep chicken for the week. Um, again, we have the three here in the center, the chicken breasts that have the garlic herb um, and honey seasoning to it. We've got the one chili lime and the one Nashville hot. Um, and so basically I am going to take, actually I need a knife because these are, well, no, I think they'll fit okay in our little containers here. Some of the chicken breasts are a little bit on the big side. I'm gonna leave these two out for us to have for dinner tonight. My kids actually um, prefer breaded chicken. I call it kids' favorite chicken. So they just like to have breaded chicken. Um, so I will make theirs later. We're doing, I'm doing meal prep right now for hubby and I for lunches for the week. I'm gonna save these two for us for dinner tonight. Let's grab this broccoli cauliflower bake because oh my. Doesn't she look heavenly? Look at the cheese. Oh, this is this gonna be so good? So we'll eat this as a side dish again tonight, but look how much it makes. And that's what I like about casseroles because it makes plenty for leftover lunches. It's also easy for the kids to just scoop up and heat some up for themselves on those busy weeknights. Sometimes they're kind of on their own for an hour or two. Perfect. Okay, that's really all there is to it, you guys. It is so simple and easy. Again, I will link to the cheddar, broccoli, cauliflower casserole recipe above and put it in the description below also for you. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so so you can get all of our easy, delicious recipes you can make at home as your family will love. And remember, you can pin and save all of these recipes over on Pinterest as well. And check out these iced oatmeal cookies that we've got for after school snacking this week. Yummy! All right, we'll see you guys next time.